Okay, we're going to go ahead and program our valve. The first thing we're going to do is set the time of day. So we'll push the menu enter button. Hit the time will flash. We'll hit the set change button. It basically, that changes your minutes. Hit menu enter again to the next digit. It sets your time for your uh, second digit minutes. Hit it again, and that's for your hours. Press it one more time. You go back, your time flashes. Press it again. You'll select AM or PM. And the last but not least, the A. This is your time between backwash cycles. You want to always set this between three and four days. Um, it's very important that you do this at least every three or four days or twice a week uh, in order to back flush the media. What can happen with the Pro-Ox over time is it ends up compacting. And what you need to do with the regeneration process, it actually forces the water down the D-tube and back up through the media and it fluffs the media back up and flushes all the contaminants out of it. So you want to make sure, it's very important to make sure to do this. Okay, once you got uh, that set, you can complete through it. Everything's good. You're good. Now, when it's, you're back in service mode, it goes between the time and the days left to regeneration. and It'll just bounce back and forth. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, program our, get into the master programming and set our backwash cycle times. So in order to do that, you're basically going to press the menu enter set change button at the same time. And you're going to hold it for a few seconds. Okay, so this is your regeneration time. So right now it's at 2 a.m. You can set change this. There's a.m., p.m., a.m. Go to the next one. We recommend 2 a.m. Uh, the other important thing you want to make sure is, is you don't have regeneration. If you have other filters or a water softener, you want to make sure you stagger those times so they're not regenerating at the same time. So anyway, uh, there we go, 2 a.m., that's what we got. Then we're going to go into our backwash cycle. We set this for 10 minutes. Okay, you want to make, make sure that's guys at 10 minutes. There again, if you want to set change it, you can walk through it this way using the set change button. Okay, now two. Two is your rest period. We want that set for five minutes, which this is. The next one is three. Okay, so the rapid rinse we recommend setting for six minutes. Again, using the set change button to cycle through that. And so there are rapid rinses set for three minutes. Okay, so this is Bluetooth enabled uh, one. That means the Bluetooth is uh, able to uh, program the valve and I'll show you that in just a second. And then this is the password where you can set up a password for the valve. We'll press menu enter one more time and we go back and now we're in service mode. It'll just flash between the time and the days left for regen. Okay, so the other way you can uh, program your valve is uh, you can go onto Google Apps or Apple Store and download the water system app. So basically this is a legacy view and what you can do is it'll go ahead and connect, find the valve, the Bluetooth, and when it comes up, this is your dashboard. It has the time set, days till backwash, regeneration time, and you can set all of these. You just basically put on there, you can set the unit time as the same as the phone, which it just did. Um, so this is really a handy app. Uh, you can also go into advanced settings, and you can start performing the backwash, the rest, or the rapid rinse.